What's up? So I was actually in the middle of moving my drum set to the other side of the room, but my old snare has been in pieces since I took off the plastic dip and it's been sitting in this box. So I switched back to this snare. So I'm changing the heads and changing the snare and that, all that stuff. I have to put that snare back together. So it's just been a lot. So I figured I'd do a quick little tip on tuning your drums. So one thing about tuning your drums that pretty much everyone says is getting the tension rods finger tight. But you know, what is finger tight? So when I first started tuning my drums, I thought that finger tight meant, okay, I'll tighten this one as much as I can. So then you do that for all of them, and that was finger tight. But the thing is, if you do that, if you look here, it might be hard to tell, but if you tighten them all the way as tight as you can, this side gets tight, but the other side does not. So to get a lug or a tension rod finger tight, means to get the tension rod tight enough just so the washer is touching the hoop of the drum. And once it touches the hoop, stop. We don't want to go any tighter. So right when the washer touches the hoop of the drum is when I'll stop. So I'll go around and do that for all of them. So now the head is tensioned evenly even though the head is still loose. So just to recap what I said, you just want to tighten each tension rod until it touches the rim. Even though I can still tighten it more by hand, that is not finger tight. And if you do do that, then the head will be tensioned unevenly, and when you go to tune it for real, it'll be out of whack. But that's a tip, so thanks for watching. Note to self, if you take the snare strainer off, put it back on the right way. Note to self again, make sure that the lugs are tightened before you put the heads on. Oh my god.